love watching Living Well on WMBD. Welcome back. Joining us now in studio is Eric Ewan and Lauren Deppy from the upcoming Corn Stock Theater show, The Robert Bride's Groom. How are you guys today? Great. Doing I'm well. so excited for this show. I mean, this is a big thing that's coming up. You guys are always bringing in amazing shows to your guys' theater. I feel like every once in a while when we have you guys into a Living Well set, you guys are always bringing something unique to the table. Are you guys excited for this? Are you guys prepared? Oh, we are worn out. We're so prepared, yeah. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> for those who might not know much about the show, what can people expect? when they're sitting in the seats in the theater and watching something like this? Well, I think they can expect a lot of laughs, really good bluegrass, country-style music, um, a lot of comedy and romance, and in a beautiful setting. Uh, the Cornstalk Theater is no better place to play in Peoria, and when it's a great evening of great weather, um, it's the perfect venue. Lauren, why don't you talk a little bit about the role that you play? Absolutely. So I play Rosamond. She's about 16 years old, um, and she's a girl who's uh, growing up in uh, Mississippi, 1795, um, middle of nowhere, nothing to do, so she's bored, and she just longs for someone to come and call her away. Is it fun to be able to take on a role like this? Do you feel like in a way that you can almost relate to this character in a bit? Or how do you feel about this role? Yeah, as actors, I think we always find something that we can relate to with our character. And Rosamond, for sure, I really, really enjoy playing with her, playing her. Um, she's this classic kind of fairy tale young woman who wants to fall in love, but she's also got a lot of spunk and she's <laughs> really hilarious. <laughs> So it's, it's really fun to get to play all those different angles of her. Now, I was fortunate enough that before we actually took to the interview, I got to hear a little bit of a portion. And I think that our viewers at home would be really interested in hearing as well. So do you want to play a little bit of a snippet and explain what part of the song you're going to be uh, singing for us? Absolutely. So I'll be singing Rosamond's Dream. This is a little glimpse into who Rosamond is and what she longs for. Go for it whenever you're ready. A fine young king on a stallion toe will to my window ride. His eyes will see and his heart will call for me to be. Rosamond, 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 come away. Wow, that is absolutely beautiful. And just like you said, you can hear that uh, a little bit of a twang of the bluegrass, like you said. I mean, that's seriously amazing. It's something different, too, that, you know, you, you think of a musical and, you know, you don't necessarily think of bluegrass when you first think of that. So I think it's pretty interesting, and I know a lot of families, I'm sure, are going to be interested in seeing this as well, right? I agree. Yeah. Right. The band's right on stage, and they're just above them when they perform, so that's unusual, too. And uh, for people that are interested in coming to see the show, give us the lowdown, all the information. Tickets, we have that information up on our screen, but why don't you explain a little bit where they can sure. go. Sure. We open on Friday, August 2nd. Uh, we run at 7.30 p.m. each and every night through August the 10th. The show runs about two hours, including intermission, so it's not a long evening, but it's fast-paced and it's fun, and I think families would have a great time. You know, we've upped our game. We have food vendors and wine and beer and all kinds of things out there available for the patrons. So you can make it a complete evening if you come and join us for the Robert Bridegroom. Perfect. And we're going to have all this information as well on our website, ciproud.com. Click on Living Well. You'll be able to get all that information over there as well, just in case you might have missed it on the show.